Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Show Me The Stuff Inside. Uh, today we, I will add a new section on my channel. I will make a small review from racing games I have already completed. And I will tell you about the Platinum Trophy, if it's uh, easy, hard, time consuming. So you need to know about this game and today we will start with WRC 6 for PlayStation 4 I would say sorry for the quality of the video uh, we are here at the main menu we can see the leaderboards the options the extras the shakedown and championship uh, our uh, online time trials uh, we have the multiplayer, here we have your trophy and race card, and here we are solo. We choose solo, we have the options to start the career, a custom championship, introduction, driving test, so we choose the quick race. And I want to show you what countries are inside, we have the Monte Carlo, the Sweden, the Mexico, the Argentina, Portugal, Italy, Poland, Finland, Deutschland, and China. I think it's uh, they included uh, the country WRC6, Tour de Course, Catalonia, Wales, and Australia. Uh, we choose a race that is short, like from Poland that is 5.2 kilometers we have clear sky and noon uh, then we have to choose a car the category is WRC WRC2 and junior WRC you start the career with Junior WRC, then go WRC2, and finally to WRC. We have Volkswagen, Mini Cooper, the Citroën, and many Hyundai, and many uh, Ford Fiesta. But I choose the Citroën. I prefer this car. Uh, the game is the same as all WRC from this company uh, it's, don't have expectations the game is just good uh, the sound is just good the graphics are good the tracks are good so let's start here we have the outside we can see that the car have uh, very good details we can open the lights The car uh, have very good details. The damage system is always it's good. As you can see, the track it's good. I can say that's the best. The gameplay it's uh, very easy. You don't need to complete uh, the game on hard difficulty, you have to complete it on simulation. That means uh, you have to use the manual gears that you can get used to it because it's very easy. And you play on easy difficulty. So you will get uh, first very easy. You can see the dust back. Also, the car have a, uh, it's getting dirty. I have damaged a little bit my car. I am a big fan of uh, racing games. That's why I bought this. But I didn't check the trophy list because I'm also a trophy hunter. But next uh, we will see the trophies and I will explain 
why uh, try to avoid this game if you are a trophy hunter and you don't want to waste a lot of time for stupid uh, trophies. It's a nice uh, rally game for fun. But when you're trying to get a platinum, it's getting just boring. Of course, as you can see, I'm not driving very good because I just want to show you the gameplay. Now we complete the race, uh, let's go back because I want to show you the weather effect and have only rain, okay, same car, same truck, this truck I played 100 times to complete an accomplishment, we will see it later. Okay, now it's raining, so let's choose the co cockpit car camera that you can see this is, the rain is very bad, it's very very bad. Basically you can see that it's raining. You can see some rays and drops, but nothing special. This is bad for the game because uh, for me the best weather effects uh, I saw them on Drive Lab. The rain is amazing, but we will see it in another video. Still no rain. Again here the car is getting dirty from mud. I can tell you that this will be my last option or choice for a rally car and always my first choice will be dirt As you can see, it's a play, a fun to play game, but not to waste so much time for the platinum trophy. And finish. Okay, we complete the race. We go back at the main menu and now let's go uh, I'm gonna show you uh, what you have to take care you have to check the list all the time
Okay, from here just to see the multiplayer, of time multiplayer, online multiplayer. I think there are three trophies for online multiplayer, but it's not just that. We go to extras, we have drive card, esports badges, statistics, accomplishment, showroom and credits. We go to accomplishment, you have to complete 94 accomplishment as last one is uh, if you complete all the others uh, if you complete all this then you got your last uh, trophy that is a gold one uh, the game is very time consuming for no reason the, the first is that you have to complete 1000 stages uh, 1000 stages I repeat that, it's ridiculous. Uh, many explain yourself so you can take it easy. Uh, another, another one you have to watch it is like here the, com the online completed stage in online multiplayer, 20 stages in multiplayer. 50 stages in multiplayer so you have to find a friend and trade uh, the wins because it's not easy to find someone online playing this game after you complete the multiplayer uh, accomplishment you will continue with your single player career And let's find, also you can uh, check online uh, for the trophy guides. If you don't want, if you don't know what to do to complete a, uh, an accomplishment. Th let's find another one that is very hard, like here. Uh, drive 1000 kilometers on gravel, solo mode, 500 kilometers on tarmac and 500 kilometers on snow but it's not like that you have to drive 5000 kilometers uh, in any surface this is ridiculous you have to complete this all it's uh, the most are easy you will get them easy but the time consuming are the 1000 stages and 5000 kilometers. And when you get the 94 completed accomplishment, then you get the last one complete all accomplishments. And I want to show you statistics. I have completed 1988 stages. I got the. the accomplishment and also I want to tell you the SSS stages doesn't count also the online uh, multiplayer race doesn't count you have to play solo stages not SSS or multiplayer so uh, now I'm gonna use my camera to show you the trophy list because the system from PlayStation not allowed and I don't know why so uh, let's go and here you can see the trophy list WRC 6 for PlayStation 4 I already have the platinum let's go inside uh, as you can see the platinum trophy is 0.1% it's ultra rare uh, it's a game that I don't know if many gamers bought, bought it. Always we know WRC games are easy for Platinum, but this is very time consuming, it's a very waste of time. Uh, because I am a trophy hunter, I didn't saw the trophy list, so I bought it, I thought it was again another easy easy game but 
No, hell no. This is very time consuming. The most trophies. Uh, here we have, of course, the three multiplayer trophies. You have to find a friend and trade the wins because I don't think anyone playing this game online anymore. Most uh, trophies you will get them uh, by playing, completing the championships. The one time consuming, of course, it's drive more than 5,000 kilometers on any surface. It's very time consuming. And the last one will be a gold trophy. The name is Legend. It completes all accomplishments that included the 1,000 stages complete. You have, as I did, I played uh, the Poland uh, track that is 5.2 kilometers 100 times just to get the accomplishment. So if you w if you are a trophy hunter, I would tell you to avoid this game. But if you if you want the rare platinum then give it a try the game it's not hard it's just time consuming for no reason I will tell you just choose uh, better dirt games that uh, are harder but if you want to play just play the game you can buy this it's a WRC, it's not a good rally, but it's a good extra racing game Platinum with 0.1%. If you like it, my video, then leave a comment, I will create more uh, small reviews and uh, I'll say some things about the platinum trophies thank god the, uh, this game didn't get uh, DLC trophies or any DLC so if you like it just leave a comment and you can tell me which game you want to see and talk about the platinum trophy from racing games only Finally, thank you for watching, subscribe, like, comment and share and see you at my next video.